Okay. Okay, another awesome lesson. We have a new sound. The all sound. It's the uh, nasal O. It's sometimes done the number eight. Um, and then other times it's done as an O with a hat on it like that. You'll see it written both ways. Um, so this aw sound is a nasal O. It is the letter O with a hat on it. And that O sound does not sound like an O. It's an aw. Um, and I want you guys to practice this sound alone before you start trying to put it inside a word or in a long sentence or a longer word or combination. Um, as you can tell, I already, I, I have trouble saying it. I've already said it a couple times. So the word yes is eight or, um, nasal O, H nasal O. So it's represented by the number eight. And that is said, uh-huh. So if you think about it, we've been saying this for a long time now. We just might not realize it. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I think you guys have heard that. I think you have. I think it's pretty common. It's just a matter of recognizing that you've heard it already. Um, and so that is. That's uh-huh. Yes. That's it. That's the sound right there. It's pretty simple. And that's the word yes. We've been saying yes that way. All of us. I don't think there's a single person that's never said it like that. <laughs> um, and so practice that. Practice saying yes, just like that, as often as you can. Um, ask yourself questions. Anytime someone asks you a question, don't answer yes. Answer uh-huh, uh-huh, and practice it. Um, and so that's onda, or onda. And that means no or not. Um, I've got the word grunt there because it does remind me of a grunt. Uh, uh. If you have trouble saying it, try, like, in the middle of a, a word, just totally don't try to say the word and just try to say the, the sound. Ah, ah, ah. And just, just make the different grunts until you get the sound that you like, that feels comfortable for you. And so this nasal O is the only nasal um, vowel that we have. It's the only nasal letter that we have um, in our language. Um, but other languages have other nasal vowels. So we have a nasal A, a nasal E, a nasal U. Um, and so I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an indication of what those sound like so that you understand what that O is supposed to sound like, because I think there's some discrepancy as to what that O is supposed to sound like. So there's the A, the nasal A, which would be like, ah, uh, ah, uh. and then there's the na nasal E, which would be like, eh, eh. I have a friend that does that. We joke around, we go, eh, right? And then there's the nasal U, which would be like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then there's nasal O, which is ah, ah. It's kind of like honk. Um, it's like om, 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 om. Okay, I'm getting silly, but um, <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point so you know what that sound is supposed to really sound like. Um, and so there's no M at the end of that sound. And there's no N. But you might hear people say it that way. You're likely going to hear me say it that way when I say certain words. Because it's really easy to put an M or an N afterward in order to make that nasal O sound. It's hard for people to say this sound. Some people pick it up right away and it's really easy. Other people it's really hard. Um, and so I'm trying to show you three different ways to do it. Um, when you get to that sound and it's not working out right and you know that you're not sounding right and you want to sound right. If you're really a geek like me and you want to really geek out on this stuff. Um, then, then try it, try to go back to this lesson and just, you know, go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then try maybe even the other nasal letters so you can see the difference between the O, the A, and the U, and maybe the E, because they all kind of sound the same, but not when you try to say the other nasal letters. But anyway, I did want to, um, mention, uh, Tony, um, and I've heard a lot of people say this different ways, so... In some ways, you know, you can say it however you want, but I've been taught that that's not how you say it these other ways. <laughs> so I don't know. Like I said, maybe you're from a place where they say it this way, so you should say it this way. But it shouldn't be Tawny. Um, it shouldn't be Tony, like a like an O. It's not an O. It's all. I've also heard people say Towny, like town with an I on the end of it, like ow, like town. Uh, ah ha, ah. It's like a honk. Honk, honk, ton, tawny. Um, it's on. It's uh huh. Onda, onda, onda. So practice it. 
Um, if you're hearing it said this way, Tony, if you're hearing it uh, said Tawny, there are others that say that this is the correct way to say it, is this, this, uh, uh-huh way. Um, I just think it's however you, however it feels comfortable to try to say it, we're likely going to know what you're saying no matter which way you say it. This is going to be two new things. We're going to use Awani and Kagui. So Awani, we know, is a who, and Kagui is a what. It's a thing, and Awani is a living creature, living being. So Onda, Awani, is nobody. Because that means no or not. So it's not anybody. Nobody. So, awanina or awanina, awanina, is who's that? Onda, awani, nobody. Um, and then there's onda kagui, which is not that, nothing at all, not something within the community. It means um, you're welcome. So this is an answer to somebody saying thank you. Onda kagui. Um, and, and then I was going to say, uh, I think that you should say yes and no to Awani, the people who we've already learned, all having to do with this sound, ah. So anyway, um, this is the first part of the ah sound, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed that as well.